to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in our battle stage arena, where we are continuing on our like MVP sort of besties from all over my oh. videos. Oh wait, hold on. We need to know what the name was for the winner in the last one. Giga 005. Yes, this is the second time that we've had this specific Giga. Uh, make an appearance and it will also make an appearance in this battle arena so it'll be interesting if it wins again <laughs> i don't think it will but uh we are gonna call this ferris mortem and that was given by darth indominus 66 but if you're really darth you should be indominus 666 and they said for the winner we should call it ferris mortem which translates to savage death in latin Oh, okay, so our winners at the moment are Ferris Mortem. We got the Awaku, which is the, I think it's like Blue Death or something like that. And uh, the Spinum. We got Bamboo. We got Cheerio. <laughs> we have such a diverse roster of names. And Sneak. So at the moment, we have one herbivore, one small carnivore, and then a medium carnivore being the Changesaurus, and then two large ones being the Spinosaurus and the Giganotosaurus. So it'll be interesting to see. Only once have we had two winners, and I think that was in the second one, This making this episode five. And since filming the last battle arena, we've had a bunch of new mods added to the game, and we are going to add them also into this, as well as all every dinosaur being different from the last one. They've got different colorings and all that jazz. Let's have a look at what this roster has to offer. First, we have a Yiqui, which I'm not expecting to do very well. It seems like most of the time, the small um, herbivores or carnivores are like these kind of things. <laughs> it's just like a bat. <laughs> it's basically just a copy. Look at it go. The kind of was like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see if it makes it through. Really, the qualification for a win in means it needs to kill something. And I don't think that Compsognathus can even kill anything except for a goat, which they won't be able to because there's no goats here. Uh, the next one, the absolute gigachad itself, uh, the absolute. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, wow, okay, we need, we need to have this in. So a normal like, axolotl is about that big. This one is a unit look at it must be like the random uh sort of colorings that we've, it's got chosen for but look at it go it must be a dimetrodon <laughs> it's so cute oh it's amazing this must have been someone's i was gonna say favorite pokemon favorite animal uh, but look at it da, 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 da. oh look at that that dinonicus doesn't stand a chance if it gets in the way of that thing so yes you're seeing some interesting ones. Now here with the Mype Macrothorax, however, is supposed to be a decent dinosaur, I think. I mean, whoa, we've got the Allosaurus. And it looks gorgeous. Kind of looks a bit bald because it's got no feathers. Maybe it never had feathers. I'm kind of used to most of these mods. Oh, oh, dinosaurs nowadays having at least a little bit of plumage. But look, oh, it's got a giant finger claw. Look at that. Love the coloring. Kind of reminds me of something from, um... What is it? Uh, Dino Crisis 3 or, or something like that? Just the smoothness and then its textures. But that's not all. No, no, no. We've got the long awaited or anticipated Capro friggin' Sutures. Yes, the crocodile that can run on all fours and chase things down like it was a bear. But it's also a crocodile. Although it kind of just looks more like a crocodile here. <laughs> Maybe it did look more like this. I don't know. I, I mean, I've never actually studied or looked up what a scientifically accurate Capra Sutures would look like. So, oh, look at it there. It's got the skills to go through the legs of a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> but still, absolutely terrifying. When you compare this to the size of a human, which is probably like twice the length. It's probably like 12 foot long or something like that. It doesn't look big in comparison to all the other dinosaurs, but on its own, it's a big boy. Don't let the size of the other dinosaurs fool you into thinking you could take it on. And then something coming back that I don't think was in the last one uh, is Irritated. Now, this mod has existed in the past, but now it has been updated for the newest DLC. 
maybe this guy will do better than the other Sukumimids. Or Spinosaur Radio. Or God knows what he wrote. Fish Eater Radio. I say that, but Spinosaur won one, didn't he? <laughs> Never mind. No, we did move one. But maybe we'll see something different. Spinosaur's the only one. Byronix and Sukumimus never do that well. But maybe Irritator will change that. And moving on to some more, we have a herbivore. Because I think that was the first, this is the first new modded herbivore we've had added in, in a long time. We've got the Enosaurus, which is slowly making its way out. There it is. Looks more like an albino weird looking horn it's like it had a normal horn and then it got jammed in the door and broken off and just is now flopping <laughs> weird but hey you never know again i like i said the spinosaurus without realizing oh lovely utah raptor there. are you a utah raptor yeah you are a utah raptor you look gorgeous there lovely and feathered anyway yes a herbivore and a ceratopsid the Ceratopsids actually have been so quite surprising recently. And we had Dinochirus in the last one. But this one... Oh, this one isn't based on a um, Macrocanthosaurus. This one, I think, is based on a Spinosaur. And it looks gorgeous. This one had a bit of a gormless look about it. <laughs> oh, can't lie. But this one looks really nice. That's not the only one. Now, we also have... We, you know, the Capisu just came in. And this is another one. The Baronesuchus or whatever. The Bear Necessities. Who's a lot bigger and moves a lot more slowly. So I'm assuming it's modeled after an ankylosaur. Especially with the fact that the top door didn't open either. Brand. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an ankylosaur. Or something like that. It could even be a stegosaur or a kentrosaur. But judging by the way it's waddling and how slow it is, I'm going to go with an ankylosaur. Oh, oh, look at that. It, could do, it, can, it looks like a little Godzilla. It's like a baby Zilla on four legs. Uh, but no, you thought that was over. It's not over till I say it's over. We've got one more incubator featuring one more dinosaur. The Mapusaurus from Planet Dinosaur. Heck yeah, this was... You know, I, I discovered Planet Dinosaur when I was in university because uh, dinosaurs have been out of my life for such a long time. And then all of a sudden, I find this amazing uh, CGI documentary, kind of. Um... And I was like, whoa, okay, this is this is amazing. But this is the first I think I've seen in a long time of something from Planet Dinosaur uh, making its way into Jurassic World Evolution 2. Or at least a modern, like maybe Evolution 2. Maybe Evolution 1 might have had some. But there we have it. That takes our roster of dinosaurs to, I think, 200. Sorry, 200, that's a lot. 117 species. We'll have a quick look around. What do we have? We've got the... Uh, Acrocanthosaurus there. We've got the Tarbosaurus. I think there's still two Tarbosaurus. Uh, the Giganix is there. The Mortem Rex is also there. A lovely looking Megaraptor. There it is. There's the Giga... I probably should have changed the skin. Whoops. It is a different one though. It'll have different stats. But the skin has not been changed. Oh, I thought you'd killed it there. Carnotaurus. Being good. Being, being the goodest of boys. Oh, what's that? We got like, hold on. Why do we have a raptor and a Tarbosaurus? Oh, that's amazing. They were getting on like a house on fire. That was brilliant. And then, oh, out of all of the things to randomly generate, is that the Lost World T-Rex? Is that the book? 1997. No, it is the Lost World T-Rex. Now, we haven't had a T-Rex win. Strangely enough, out of all the dinosaurs, Spino is one, Giga is one, and the, the, you know, you've got the pyramid, the three top apexes, T-Rex, Spino, and the Giga. However, T-Rex is not in there. We've got Mapu now, so it'll be interesting to see if the Maposaurus, uh, you know, a dinosaur that was even bigger than the T-Rex, uh, will make it through. Or who knows, maybe a Laura Titan will somehow make a kill and qualify. God knows. What, what are you... Oh, you're a cryolophosaurus, okay. Anything else? I, I saw the Sukumimus and it looked dead weird. The Allosaurus there, another Tyranotitan. A nice looking Monolophosaurus, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> look how green you are. Yeah, you look so cool. Oh, saying that, oh, the Stegosaurs are pulling out beautiful colorings. Ooh, Therizinosaurus as well looking good too. Even Galamimus. Oh, there's some amazing skins here. But where is that Sukumimus? I saw that thing and I was like, whoa, you stand out just a little bit too much there, buddy. Oh, and there we have the Spinosaur being proper blue and a bit white. Colombian Mammoth. Yeah, this thing, apparently the Silichosaur, Silichosuchus, Silichosuchus? Yeah, apparently that was a prehistoric uh, crocodile and that's why it looks like 
more a crocodilian than it does dinosaur-esque. Oh, an orange Cynoceratops. Oh, I like it. You're as if a Mattel released their toy again and just changed the color. <laughs> Paparana and Salbot on that lovely Nazunoceratops. Ha 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 ha, there it is. There it is. Good God, now that's blue. Or cyan, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, guys, who do you think is going to win this one? Place your bets and in three, two, one, let's go. All right, that's it. We're off to the races. Who's going to be the first one to kill? Oh, of course, Indominus Rex. Why, it, oh, it, don't know, it doesn't matter where it is. It will always go for a blooming sauropod. Bless it. No. Oh, the Herrera source is underneath from there. But will we get an actual proper kill? Oh, no, 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 maybe not. Is anybody dead yet? Nobody's dead yet. We've made it so far. We're doing so good. No one's died. Oh, Aquacanthosaurus against this thing. The uh, Macrothornax. Interesting. Herrera against... Oh, getting bullied by Dimetrodon. And... Oh, a kill! Ceratosaurus killed by the Dinochirus. Oh, hey. <laughs> Who knows how this one's gonna go? Pentaceratops taking on the Indotaurus then. Mapusaurus. Uh, are you fighting anything? Oh, you're fighting the freaking Camp Cretaceous. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, well, there goes that one. Interesting. Would have been cool to have seen that, though. Was it Monolophosaurus? Oh, it's the mini cup Monolophosaurus against what is it? Aeonoraptor. And Aeonoraptor has won that one. Two deaths, one poison, and one on low health. Oh, oh, Sinoceratops against Cryolophosaurus. And Cryolophosaurus has won that. Okay, not, not a good turnout for the herbivores so far. This Spino Alberta uh, Alberta Spino uh, going for the Camaro source. And, and a Trussraptor pretending to be a bush. And it's like, no, I stay here. No one will see me and no one will kill me. <laughs> we got the Gigantus Spinosaur taking on a Polacanthus. Out of everything that you could take on, you really want to take on this thing? Why? You should be friends. Team up. Be a freaking Marvel whatever. God knows what. Anyway, we got Stegosaurus against a Mega Raptor, and ooh, okay, <gasps> low health for the Mega Raptor. Oh, we gonna see a plates for days come back, and it won. Can we get a hell yeah? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the start of something. Oh, don't know where that is. Indoraptor taking on the Dreadnoughtus, I think. Now, yeah, well. Oh, sorry, Indo... Wait, where's Indoraptor? We've seen a lot of Indominus. We haven't seen any Indor... Oh, we've got this thing. Oh, it's going to have to sticky more. Look, that is the Scorpius Rex. Out of those three, Indoraptor, Indominus Rex, and uh, friggin' Scorpius Rex, they always seem to go for the easy kills and don't stop until they're all gone. Oh, yeah. Choppies. Oh, this one's raspberry flavored. I love it. Oh, 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 Alberto Spino killing a Dryosaur there. <gasps> Hyungasaur killed to Indotaurus? Oh, no, it's not. It's Iron R. That could be Indoraptor. Oh, Sukumimus is taking on Scorpius Rex. No, you never do well. Oh, even the Uteranus over here has been poisoned by something. Oh, say it ain't so. Oh, my God. Scorpius Rex goes down to Sukumimus. Hell yeah. The Columbia Mama's dead. But this thing, oh, could it be? Could it be the time for Sukumimus to win back? We need to see Sukumimus. We need to see Jungasaur, Metricandosaurus. We never see those guys last too long. Mortem Rex taking on a Taurosaur. And the Taurosaur kind of fighting back. Or is it the thing from 65? God knows. They all look the same. And oh, a defense and a kind of attack. And it's Kwee Kwee, whatever it's called, bouncing away. <laughs> so it's over after over there as well. It looks like Mortem Rex has won that one. Uh, wait, who is this? Who's dead over here? Acrocanthosaurus died to Maya? No. Who's Maya? What's the code MIA? It, no, it can't be Maya. So Maya so can't fight back. Minmi? Did Minmi kill it? Or Metrocanthosaurus? Maybe that's it. Oh. Oh, this could be the one. We've got a death from Camarasaurus. We've got a Pentaceratops. Uh, the Urgulalk, or whatever it's called, is dead as well, but that was kind of just a Hadrosaur. Oh, there's Indoraptor. Find me. No, he's taking on the Nigerosaurus. Oh, beautiful animation there. You very rarely get to see it. That looks so cool. Omalocephale has survived longer than Acrocanthosaurus. What kind of world are we living in? And now we've got the Chunkingosaurus against a Sauripelter. And all oh, the stars. Like bullying him. No! 
It went too far there. Someone write that dinosaur up. Austral Ovenator then looking with looking gorgeous with its head crest. The purple. Oh, we got it. Allura Titan. Dome's Rex trying to kill Allura Titan, but Allura Titan's not very happy. He's going to wait a second for it to get into position. And there it goes. Like I said, they always go for the easy kills. And Indoraptor going for a Struthi Mimus. Oh, yep, yep, going for the Struthi Mimus. Like I said, they always, they, they go for the easy kills. Yep. Oh, no. Just after I said, not Homalocephale. Ah! Oh, eaten. There it goes. Slurped up like a strand of spaghetti. Uh, whoa. We got a battle between a Dilophosaurus and a Hararosaurus. Oh, spitting and then jumping to attack. Very interesting. Love this design of the Dilophosaurus. They extend its head crest. This one is a mod, although the creature itself is not a mod. So there's only one Dilophosaurus in here. And even though it looked like it got the last hit in, uh, Hararosaur won that one. Brilliant. And Diplodocus casting a lovely shadow. Thank you. Oh, it's dicky. <laughs> Oh, no. What we got here? Irritator taking on Majungasaur. Is it? Did they have a fight? No, I don't think they did. The first wave of battles is almost over, and some are onto their second wave. Of course, Indoraptor is the one that's able to kill a small carnivore, so if that survives the longest, then there will be no small carnivores left. Very rare. Do I, I don't think I've ever seen it, to be fair. A little carnivore killing an Indoraptor. I think it's just in the DNA. Oh, we've got the Tarvasaurus against the Carnotaurus. Oh, for Camp Cretaceous. Kind of went and so far, I've only seen the T-Rex sleeping. <laughs> it looks so tired. Uh, we're doing this again, are we? Oh, okay. Maybe that this is the strategy of the T-Rex. It won't battle until the very end. Although, I don't know how that would work, because you'd, you'd be untested. It's also weighing up its options. And... We have a tough battle between the Tarbosaur and the Carnotaurus, but the Carnotaurus does take the W. Brilliant! A buttered toast! Oh no, we can't have toast because he's green and he'll disappear in the green screen. <laughs> and of course, Indominus Rex trying to take on Diplodocus. Oh, we got the werewolf thing. The Chili Was it Chiliantiosaurus taking on Cocorodonosaurus there? Battle of the giant teeth. But they're just looking at each other lovingly. And Indominus Rex is getting a bit jealous, apparently. We have the mini cup with Dimetrodon taking on a Deinonychus. Uh, there is a Megalania in here somewhere. Don't know if it's... Oh, oh, that bounce. That was, that was skillful. Well recovered. It must have been a quick time event. Another hit. But will Deinonychus... It's beautiful purple crests. Oh, it's a win for it. It's a win. Brilliant. And then we're lang uh, ooh, something died there. What's this one? Indo. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Just t slowly chomping down on the sauropods. It'll be a while until they actually have proper fights. Let's have a look. We lost Tarbosaur, Batar. We lost Dryosaur. The lost Raptor was killed from, oh, by an Atrocer. That was the Lost World Raptor. No, we, we had the Lost World T-Rex, Lost World Raptor. We've also got Changesaurus is out of it. Uh, Kendrosaur appears from Camp Cretaceous, the bigger Kendrosaur is still in it. Of course, Spinosaur is. I'd be very surprised if Spinosaur died. Uh, we've lost the Uteranus, the Mementosaur, uh, the Minmi, and the Megaraptor have also bitten the dust. Mapusaur is still here. The Indotaurus is here, just killing the Cryolophosaurus. Running around like it should have done in Jurassic World Alive. And here we go. Oh, we've got very similar colorings here from these two. The Dinochirus against this other one. Who will win? Oh, it looks like the Dinochirus might win this one. Brilliant. Interesting to see a modded creature when we've never had a modded creature actually survive through. Don't know if that's just the way it's supposed to be or whether the... I don't know. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we get our first one ever this time. Oh, and it won with unblinking eye, which also is also the same color as the rest of it. Oh, Oh, a Stegosaur against an Albertosaur. This'll be interesting. Oh, Albertosaur goes for the first hit. Will Stegosaur get some sort of attack off or will they call it quits on one? Oh, is that, was that a hit for the Stegosaur? I can never tell with that one, but it's some beautiful fog rolls in on the battlefield, obscuring the dinosaurs. And another kind of hit from Stegosaur. Interesting. God, I love this fog, man. It looks so good, but Stegosaur unfortunately flees in terror 
as the Alberta Saur cries out in victory. And oh, here we have is a Megalania. Oh no, it's the Megalosaurus against a Majungasaurus. The tiny cups fighting over the carcass of a slain Acrocanthosaurus. And who will win this one? It looks like the Megalosaurus is going to win it as Majungasaur is bearing more scores. And it does win. A tiny little Chasmosaur there. Beautiful. So far, I have not seen anything from the crocodilians it's only been the giant ones oh imagine if gigantospinosaurus could kill a dominus <laughs> again i don't think there's animation we can see oh lystrosaur of course still alive and triceratops still kicking we've got a battle between the Agu it's a dominion iguanodon i think it's a dominion iguanodon versus an indotaurus now this was a dlc skin Oh, a tail of all the attacks for Indo- Oh, Indotaurus to uh, go for. A tail slap was not what I expected. Oh, look at Listro. Loving life in the background there. But will Iguanodon- No, is not seeming to get a hit off and is teleporting around, losing a lot of blood. But will it get a hit? Oh, it does actually get a hit off. Oh, T-Rex taking on Carnotaurus. This could be T-Rex's first fight. And, oh, down it goes. Iguanodon loses. And Carnotaurus- was that the first bite? Is Carnotaurus going to slay the ruler of Site B, the Buck T-Rex? Although I don't know. I don't oh, that other one's looking a bit worse for wear as well. Uh, Carnotaurus, go. Oh, it's three hits from Carnotaurus or something ridiculous. Is the T-Rex going to... Oh, even though it went for the most hits, T-Rex has still won that without any scars. Looking gorgeous while he roars there. And Kylosaur facing off against Carcharodonosaurus with a huge club tail. Oh, I don't know. We got Carcharodonosaurus on low health. And Kylosaur actually wins. Damn, an upset on Indominus Rex kills the Baron Asuchus. Now, if Caprasuchus is still in it, it's the only remaining crocodilian. And like we always see, Indoraptor trying to go for easy kills like the Gallimimus. Are they going to attack each other? No. Triceratops versus Spinosaurus, and not just any Triceratops, a Jurassic Park Triceratops. Oh, no! Triceratops gets the first hit off. This is brilliant. I mean, Spinosaurus already won. This is the first dinosaur I think we ever properly see in the whole entire Jurassic Park franchise. And can it kill one of a fan favorites? The, you know, the star of Jurassic Park 3. Very interesting to see if it can, even though Triceratops did get the first hit off. I don't know, is it going to get another hit off? No! That was kind of like, maybe? Both looking a bit worse for what? And Triceratops wins! What an upset! We got Stegosaur, Triceratops, and Ankylosaur. I guess the three favorites of uh, herbivores um, kind of winning battles there. Did not expect that to happen. Indotaurus versus the Buck T-Rex. Now, the Buck T-Rex has just faced off against Carnotaurus. I think Indotaurus did face off against the Iguanodon and got hit once, but that was a while ago. So the Rex may be in a little bit of a disadvantage, but no, gets the first hit off. Indotaurus doesn't have any special perks like poison or bleed. So it's really going to come down to a... Uh, uh, who gives the biggest bite? And that's definitely going to be the T-Rex. And after, you know, one bite, they're calling it quits. The Indotaurus runs off. <laughs> was I able to win? Uh, well, it was a win for Rexy anyway. Next, we have Indominus Rex against Alasaur. And I don't even know if that was a fight at all. They, they, they don't seem to want to fight anymore. And the, 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 the tiny Gasmosaur didn't last long. Don't know what that was slain by a DNH. Is that like a Dinochirus? It might, might be. Sinoceratops died to TRS and the Tarchia died to ABS. And we've got Edmontosaurus being hunted down, of course, by Interruptor, but I think Interruptor's completely out of stamina. There are still two ducks in it, and there is still the Giga. So let's see who's going to win this one. I think this is going to be. Ooh, Crossraptor there. Could be a fan for. Oh, God, what's going on? A, a, a slight clash. And is that. That's another win for a duck! God, you're terrifying looking. Oh, ABS. Yeah, oh, your ABS, Alberta Spino, of course. And it unfortunately killed the EO. Oh, the Enosaurus. Oh, the Axolotl's still going. Look at it go. I haven't seen it since the start, but it's still alive. You must be uh, Scorpius Rex, I think. Scorpius Rex out very early. Oh, Indotaurus being taken on by Nazinoceratops. Out of all the upsets, this could possibly be the biggest after losing two battles in a row. Although it does get a hit off um, and it has kind of cut up the Nazinoceratops a tiny bit. 
but I don't know. I think Indotaurus here is, is not in the best day. <laughs> it lost. Gives Nazutoceratops some well-needed XP to try and survive a little bit longer. Oh, the Mapusaurus is dead. No, I kind of wanted that thing to win. And Mega Raptor taking on Carnotaurus there. But I think Carnotaurus got the first bite off. A slight clash. I think that's going to confirm that there's not going to be a kill. And Carnotaurus has won so many. SLS. What was SLS? Oh, that's probably one of those new ones, isn't it? Oh, then let me find him. Of course, littered are the bodies of the Hadrosaurs that the Indominus Rex has quickly dispatched of. And Taurosaur beating Tarbosaur there, man. This is really weird, this thing. Dimetrodon seems to have died to Baryonyx. Therizonosaurus has died to Tarbosaur. All of these things just are happening without me even noticing them. Sukumaima's taken on to run a Titan. <laughs> and loving it. We got a small cup here. Dilophosaurus killing Protoceratus. Oh, God. Protoceratosaurus. That's the one. As long as Interruptor dies, you may be in with a shout. And now we have Triceratops taking on. Oh, this thing. The Macrothorax. That's the one. With its giant green eye. Or did they just line it up wrong? I think they might have lined it up wrong. Indominus Rex died to CDS? Oh, Carcharodontosaurus. And we missed it. What? Okay, I'm not missing this one. Oh, 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 oh. Don't. Oh, Styracosaurus died? Okay. Indotaurus killed Styracosaurus. That's not too much of an upset. That's that's to be expected. Yeah, Isosaurus has won another battle as it's on 77%. Oh, my God. Medicathosaurus killed? What was this one? Aeonoraptor, that one. Oh, A Aeonoraptor, Aeonoraptor. Well, that's something like that. Anyway, well, it looks like Dilophosaurus isn't completely safe. Although, I don't know if Metricanthosaurus can attack Dilophosaurus. I think, <laughs> I think the Metricanthosaurus has got bigger things to worry about. Like the giant axolotl. Or perhaps, oh, what was that? Majungasaur killed Hararasaurus. Okay, okay, Sukumimus, Majungasaur. They're working their way up the ranks. Threatening, threatening to be a showdown for the ages, but don't think so. Also, they've made a Kylosaur super huge in this game. God damn. Oh, oh, Carnotaurus dispatching with the final Mega Raptor there. How many wins is that for Carnotaurus? It is three wins, one loss, and one kill. Take to a level three, Savage. Carcarodontosaurus against Macrothorax. And the killer of Indominus Rex taking on the newcomer. How will it go? I mean, Kokoronosaurus, yeah, got the first hit in. Again, never really see Kokoronosaurus too close to the end. But with that win, you know, taking Indominus Rex XP, you've got something to live up to. And they've called that off. I think they, they saw Indoraptor there and thought, yeah, don't want him watching us. Whoa, what's this, Pyraptor? There's a Pyraptor still alive. Take it on to Lophosaurus. Oh, the Lophosaurus kills it. Oh, well, you've still got the Atrociraptor to worry about before you can relax. Oh, oh, no, Zootoceratops taking on the, the Tarbosaur. Oh, I'm defending. Okay. I have no idea which way these battles are going to go. And there's the hit. Tarbosaur on 45%. That's like death. That's death numbers, that is. Also, Indoraptor. Oh, oh, 22% for Tarbosaur and 73% for no Zudo. Damn. Okay, I mean, it's it's got a lot to do with, you know, random. Like, wh whoever takes on who next. Albertosaurus against Baronyx. And Baronyx actually winning, going for the first fight. We got the Giga against Mortem Rex. Ooh, that'll be an interesting one. And Indotaurus against Carnotaurus. Hmm, each one has DNA of the other. Well, well, they all have Carnotaurus DNA. And, oh, Indotaurus goes for the hit first. Interesting. Oh, oh, is, is the Giga killing the Mortem Rex? No, no, it's not. The Giga did defeat Mortem Rex. And who's going to win out of this one? Is it going to be? Oh, I think they're just going to call it off. And they do a weird walk like that. Allosaur taking on the Alberta Spino. Something that's probably three times its own weight. But goes for a bite first and is actually kind of winning. And there is still an Mondosaurus the Indoraptor is trying to hunt down. Not letting any of these defenseless herbivores get away with it. However, they've got the stamina. Although he is kind of taking... Well, you are walking really slowly. You're running very slowly. And you're you're doing a side... Oh, come on. You're trying to flourish it with style. 
running away sideways like a crab. Didn't work out in the end, though. Definitely dead. Oh, Jesus! I was like, these two aren't fighting. Oh, no. They're fighting. And Megalosaurus takes out the giant... What was it? The Tarbosaur. Wow, well done. It's anybody's game at this point. You got Triceratops, you still got Stegosaur, you got Megalosaur, you got Carnotaurus, and you've even got T Rex. And now you've got the Tyranno Titan taking on the Macrothorax. Although, will they have, even have a fight? Sometimes with these modern creatures, they, they take a while. Maybe they do one bite and then they run away. It's very odd. Oh, 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 a clash that actually kind of worked. And another clash that also worked. Is the, oh, Ducky wins it. To be fair, Cocaridonosaurus did just come out with fight him. Oh no, Nizuno, you've been doing so well this whole time. You can't be taken out by that thing. Oh, 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 did, oh, oh my god. How, you look bloodied up. You just barely killed a Sora Pelton. And what, why? Why do we have the Woosaurus against Pierce or whatever from Camp Cretaceous? Nobody wants to see the victor of that one. No one wants to see a loser of that one. And then Majungasaur against Baryonyx. A sort of medium cup taking each other on. And then actually kind of not. Well, they're just slapping each other at this point. Taurosaur taking on a Metricanthosaurus. Oh, a hit. And I think, is that it? Yes, it is. It kind of got impaled in the horns. Metricanthosaurus out of it. Ah, damn. Well, as long as we've still got Baryonyx and Sukumimus and Majungasaur... I'll be happy. Oh. Oh, no. Indoraptor has finally decided that it's going to take on all the raptors. It's on 100%. It's made four kills, six victories, four prey hunts. And unfortunately, Crossraptor did manage to get one kill. But a 1v1 against an Indoraptor has never gotten to end well for whoever it is. As long as they're a small carnivore. And the Absolutal has still never attacked anything. Done very well. Oh, Alberta Spino trying to take on something else when it hasn't even recovered with 54% health. It's taken on the Silicicicis, whatever it's called. That weird thing. I'm sure that can't have been a crocodile. Well, and uh, they kind of cooled off, so we'll just edit that bit out. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, Ankylosaur's moving into position to take out the Giga, but will it? Are you going to go for it? Oh, are you going to go for it? Who's going to get the first hit off? Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. Is Ankyl I mean, if a herbivore wins this and all the other carnivores die, we might end up with a handful of winners when it comes to the herbivores. Another charge. Not going for the uh, tail, though, which is interesting. Remember, the tail is like a finisher move. And Ankylosaur wins that one as well. Jesus. Undefeated. Wait, Trodon's still here. I haven't even seen you, buddy. And... Oh, Indoraptor killed. What? Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, it's not killed. No, it is killed. It was killed by more Rex on 100% health. Whoa. Sukumimus is like, did anyone see that? What happened? <laughs> that is amazing. That means that Dilophosaurus might be in with a shot. In fact, it might have actually won. So, Taurosaur and Triceratops. I mean, at this point, they are basically carnivores. They have killed so many things. I'd love to see who's going to win this. Oh! Because of the, like, the head clash like they used to do in uh, J-Park. But I think it was only with the same species they do that. And actually, it was only Taurosaur that did that. Oh! Clashing together. But it looks like Taurosaur is coming off worse than the Triceratops is. So we'll see if size of the horns really does matter. And in this case... Oh, oh there it is! There's the clash! Oh, how is this gonna go? Oh, oh our Taurosaur taken down and is looking worse and worse as the battle goes on. Is that death? Or is that just a win? Oh god, that should be death. But Triceratops wins it though. Love that different species can actually do that. 78% in comparison. 26. Oh, oh, thank God, it, it was lucky to get out of there alive. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yep, yep, Dinokairos just instantly killed, uh, killed Baronix. Oh, God, the two duckies are making it through. It's not looking good for everything else. Is Dilophosaurus still in it? Yes, yes, it is. I think Dilophosaurus has managed to win with a whopping three kills and three fights and even one loss and one scarf. A winner! Oh, I'm so I'm so happy. I'm that well done. Well done, Dilophosaurus. You did so good. No, that's not what I wanted to say. No, that's also not what I wanted to say. No. 
That's the one. Well done, Dilophosaurus. And we got a fight over here with the Tyrannotitan against the Macrothornax. Now, they fought like multiple times before, but they always do one bite and then end it. However, this one, maybe they've got the space now to really go at it. And we've also got the Giga taking on the Albertosaurus. Interesting. I haven't seen Albertosaurus fight anything in a long while. Although, the Giga bears many, many scars from the battles that it's taken on. I uh, don't know who won that one. Gonna assume the Macrothorax. Oh, wait, hold on. We have Celiophysis and Troodon here as well. So, it's not over. Oh, the wallop from Woohoosaurus killing Taurosaur. Now, that wouldn't have happened if it didn't friggin' start attacking Triceratops. Oh, and then another complete upset into Taurus taken out by Megalosaurus. Two in one there. What? Who didn't see that coming? Oh, Dinocaris against the Giganotosaurus. And, ooh, it actually survived a hit. I was expecting maybe the Giga to die straight away. But no, it's putting up somewhat of a fight. And we got the T-Rex. Oh, the T-Rex has taken on the other duck. Ooh. And then we got another big battle over here with the Silicosuit just taking on the Mortem. This will be very interesting to see how these battles go. Okay, Ducky won that one. And will Mortem Rex, the killer of Indoraptor, manage to kill this thing? Oh, no, it goes for a hit. Okay, okay. Look at Mortem Rex there. Gorgeous. One of the worst apexes in Dross World Alive. Maybe, I don't know, but it's great for raids and stuff. <laughs> T-Rex left on 12% from the duck, and the duck is on 91% health. Oh, the Carcharodonosaurus, what did you, you died to the Albertosaurus? Oh, he finds it hilarious, apparently. <laughs> Damn it, I'm so annoyed Mapasaurus didn't last more than two seconds. I'm really wanting this thing to do something as well. I feel like this could take on Dilophosaurus. We've just got to wait for more of the bigger carnivores to die out, and then the smaller ones will start fighting each other. And we've got Majungasaur taking on Albertosaur. Oh, this could be the end for Majungasaurus. I don't like it. Oh, I mean, we still got Sukumai, we still got Majungasaur. Can they ever make it through to the end? I will be very impressed if they do. History only remembers winners. It doesn't remember runners up. You need to get through there. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Sukumimus versus a... It could be the end for the Giga if these two actually go at it. Sukumimus goes for the first hit, yes! Yes! Really? Oh, I don't even know what that pose is. Oh, is that a Karma Sutra? What's that? <laughs> Not only did Sukumimus just kill the Giga, but Jungusa won its battle. This is it. This is it. This is the one. This is the one we've all been waiting for. Dinosaurs we never see getting to the end, making it through and spicing up the finale. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Ankylosaur against the Megalosaurus. Can these guys even fight? Oh, they can. Ooh. Like a, so like an albino. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the slap of the tail. Oh, that should definitely be an instant death. But it's not. It's not. It's, it's surviving. Okay, okay. Showing that they're a bit of an even match with each other. Oh, and Kalosaurus goes for the second hit. Ooh, Megalosaurus did get another bite in. And Megalosaur wins that one. Ooh. 42 against a 68. Not too far off each other, really. A showdown to end all showdowns. Morden Rex versus, well, a T-Rex. Oh, God. Oh, it's not looking good for T-Rex. Oh, down it goes. Oh. <laughs> I die dead. <laughs> That's right. Eat the grass, Mortem Rex. And there you have it. Feel like we're getting closer and closer to our first ever modded dinosaur victory. And with Indorapt taken out quite early with a lot of small carnivores still existing, we're going to get probably at least two winners from this. Oh, Carnotaur has just lost to the Woohoosaurus. Hey. Watch this guy, you never can tell. And Triceratops is now taking on the Megalosaur. What a terrible mistake this was for him. I mean, or maybe it wasn't. Just coming straight off the battle, the heels of another fight, and lost. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was really weird. If on full health, it probably could have killed that Triceratops. But together, the Ankylosaur and Triceratops proved a little bit too much for the Megalosaurus. Albertosaur against an Ankylosaur. Ankylosaur has just lost one, but goes straight for the hit on the Albertosaurus and is apparently going to win this one straight away. 
I don't know how it's managed to get scratches on itself when, you know, this thing doesn't even have claws. And the Ankylosaur is not looking too bad at all. Is probably going to get another hit in now. Oh, it's it's a little bit of a clash. Oh, Albinosaur getting into his final death phase. Can Ankylosaur clench? Oh, I can't. No, running away. Didn't get the ending. And Sukumai is taking on the duck. Two kind of fishy looking amphibious reptiles taking on each other. And who will win? Both have done very well to get this far. And calling it quits there. I don't think that was a single victory, but Ducky definitely had more health on it. Would you believe we also have a Polar Campus, which has uh, apparently only lost one battle. <laughs> but it's still alive, so it's going to be easily picked off by something whenever the round comes. Sukumimus and the Duck finishing their fight. And I think this could be the end of Sukumimus. No, it's vibrant colors now leaving its body. Although it's getting a few more scars in on the Dino. But I don't think that Sukumimus is going to be the one to end the reign of terror of the ducks. And oh no, never mind. They're not. Uh, they're, they're, they're not going to finish that. Okay, Sukumimus lives another day. No, no, you can't make all of these B-tier carnivores die. No, bad Green Eye, bad. Majungasaur will win. Look at it. It's like a long tube with legs. Oh, Mortem Rex just killed the Albertosaurus. Oh, out of nowhere. I think he was having a fight with something else. Like, how did that happen? Okay. Do we still have... Is Stegosaurus still a thing? I'm very curious. I have not seen it in a while. Carnotaurus is still a thing. Axolotl thing is also a thing. Facing up against Carnotaurus out of nowhere. Okay, okay. Oh, and wins it as well. Oh, and see, look. It does exist. It is here. Trodon. And it looks like... Tro <gasps> Has Trodon been in a battle with... Whoa. Oh, no, you're the different one. Well, you're a different TR. You'll try Ceratops against this thing again. No, I, that was a battle I'd never even seen. That didn't even come up for me. Like, Trodon's fought something. See this thing? See how tiny? Against... <laughs> Just, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't even take it all in in one shot. This thing, yes. That thing, no. And which one do you think's winning? That thing's winning. Where's the Triceratops? Triceratops, you're gonna hit in? Oh, okay, defensive. Oh, and it, okay. It, it could have eased, I think Tyranotitan was on 7% with one hit. Oh, we got the other duck against Mortemrex, two mods, and calling it off, sweet, cool. And Celia Physis also, uh, yeah, just having a sit around. Okay, it looks like they're starting to get to a point, the small carnivores where they will have a fight now, because after seeing that Trodon take that damage, woo, and you, Three wins, one loss. And you also have got scars on you. Oh, hold on, where was that Trodon? Does the Trodon have scars? Oh, you're on 100% health. Okay, so that, that might have been just scars. But you have had a fight, right? Oh, we see a death here. Majungasaur against Megalosaurus. And Majungasaur goes with it. Oh, it's not dead. Maybe next time? Or is it going to get a... Gonna get, is it going to get a hit off? I don't know. I know Majungasaur's one hit away. This could be it. This could be it. Finish it, finish it, yes, yes, I knew it, I knew you were doing well done, Majungi, way. <laughs> I knew we just needed to quickly just finish it before we could run away, and he got it, well done, well done. Unlike you, what have you done? Oh, is this it? No, the end of Sukumimus, I knew it was coming, I knew it was coming. I'm 66%, yeah, straight death, damn, okay, well. It's going to be the battle of the ducks, I feel, in the end. That's what, that's what, that's what my heart's telling me. It's going to be duck v. duck. Oh, can you put an end to the duck? I'd be very surprised if you can. I think you're going to die, son. But you know what? Every bite helps. If it means... Oh, 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 oh. Is he going to die? Is anyone going to die? You're just going to drop? You're going to drop? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I was going to say, imagine. Imagine. It just falls. It could happen. It's, it's stranger things have happened in the past. Oh, Alasaur, an old favorite against the Majungus. Oh, there we go. We've got to get in the bracken. Oh, who's for hit? No, Majungi, you did so well. Uh, but you, I, I think, yeah, you would. <laughs> okay, never mind. You would anyway. What am I worried about for you? <gasps> Woohoo, Saurus against Anki. We got our own friggin' cup for the herbivores. 
Now, Woohoosaurus has, I don't think, lost a single... Oh, okay. Okay. Ankylosaur's there. Uh, it be showing at who's boss here. Is it going to go? Oh, yeah. Ankylosaur wins. Oh, no. The poor Trodon's crying tears of blood. No. Oh, but you got so easy kill. Easy kill. Go, buddy. Go. You got this. I don't know. I don't even, how, many, how many battles have you won? Seven battles. Wow. It's, it's made it like into the top 15 dinos. Seven victories, four kills, and one loss at a ferocity rating of... No, I was going to say harmless. What? <laughs> that doesn't check out. For a tyrant level. Oh, no, I can't have so killed Woohoosaurus. I knew it. I knew it was coming. All right, at this point, I'm going to take out all the Lystrosaurs, all the Compies, because they can't do anything now. In fact, I think from here on out, we probably won't put in those tiny dinosaurs. Oh, wait, what's this? Majungasaur against Doug. No, Majungasaur. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, bless him. Oh, he tried. He tried. That was that was a, a good effort, though. Going for a hit straight away. After teaching the Woohoosaurus a lesson, it's like, nah, nah, nah. I got this. I got this. You got a little bony, skinny mouth. That's right. Run. Fear the thick. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Dilophosaurus being poisoned. <gasps> it must have fought the Trodon. Yeah, there's that much space now. Oh, he killed the Trodon. <gasps> oh, but the Trodon's venom lives on, though. It's either Dilophosaurus or Celephysis that's going to win. We're going to get multiple winners out of this fight. I'm so excited. Celephysis, there you go. I'm pretty sure you can take on Dilophosaurus. Pretty sure. Have you even fought anything? No. Okay, cool. Love your colors, though. But really, I want Dilophosaurus to win. Wow. Okay, out of all the battles, it's going for the Ankylosaur. Interesting. Could this be a cunning winning strategy to build up the experience on a weaker dinosaur? I think it might be. It goes for the first bite, showing that it's definitely the stronger dinosaur. And it'll definitely take out of everything it's facing. It'll take the least amount of damage? Is that how you say it? Anyway, it'll, it'll, it won't take as much damage as it would taking on something else. And it has a chance to win this. Oh! Oh! I've never seen the Ankylosaur so bloody. But I don't know. Majungasaur is also not looking too good. But I feel like Majungasaur, yeah, Majungasaur's winning this one by 31 to 75. Wow, you look way bloody than you are. The Macrothornix killed Tyranitai and you hung on for so long, buddy. Oh, I saw it take on one of the duckies and it was left with 11%. And then this thing must have just finished it. Cunning as it is sleek and slender. Oh, okay. Okay, Majungasaur gets the first hit on this guy. Woo -hoo -hoo. This one's winning me over, man, this Majungasaur. Definitely. I've, I've seen the character development. I've seen the arc, story arcs. I've been there from the beginning, and I'm seeing it win. And it just did a massive amount of damage. Who are you rooting for? Is it the Ankylosaur? Is it that Nazunoceratops that's still there? Or by any chance, is it the Polacanthus, which has still only lost one battle that <laughs> he's made it this far? Oh, no. Oh, no. Doki against Ankylosaur. No, I knew that was going to happen. Ankylosaur taken out. It didn't have enough time to recover from the Majungasaurus fight, but it did do a tiny bit of damage to the duck. Oh, Majungasaur? Oh, oh, 25% against 100%. Oh, it's going to win. Is it going to kill it, though? Oh, it gets hit back. Oh, it did. Wow, damn, Majungasaurus. It's almost in the double digits. You know what? It's not flawless. It's lost two fights, but it's won nine. It's killed five things. Use! You have done brilliantly. I still don't know if it's got what it takes to take on a duck, though. It's gonna need a miracle. Yeah, Polycanthus killed by ducky. Yep, you didn't see that coming. Just another little bit of a clean up here. Da -da -da -da. And there we go. The loss of the Nasutoceratops. <laughs> didn't put any fight up. Just sort of like... <laughs> it just falls straight down. Well, now there is only the two ducks, a Dilophosaurus, a Triceratops, and the Majungasaur left. Oh, and a Telephysis and this thing. But neither have really ever done anything, so I don't think they're going to qualify to win. I've had to put, like, hunger and thirst on them, or else they're not going to fight. I've literally been looking at this for ages. And they were just kind of happy, walking around, doing nothing. Okay, Triceratops against the ducky. Too much longer. Whoa. Okay, maybe it's not a death. I get the feeling it's going to be a death though. No, it's not. It survives. Go, Triceratops, go. 
And as if to prove a point, it gets killed by the Dilophosaurus, earning its stripes. Yes, and then into the underbrush. <sighs> Disappeared as quickly as it emerged. And I think this could be the end of the Triceratops as well. It knows. It's like, just get it over with. Go on. Just, just do the weird animation, which means that I fall straight down. Go on. <laughs> Is it just eating? <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> the duck's like, I could kill you easily. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, well, these are trying to off, you know. I think it blew a raspberry before it died, or at least it had some fun. Which brings our combatants down to the two ducks, and I'm pretty sure Majungasaurus, and, and that's about it. Okay, never mind. Maybe this fight can actually happen. The axolotl again. <laughs> <laughs> it died like such a frog. <laughs> I, th I think you made a mistake. Yep, come back. Your meal's going bad. <laughs> so I just want to run off and look epic. But yeah, I am a bit hungry. Okay. So this is it. Dilophosaurus has made it through. Well done. Well done. Uh, tell you what, it's not stopping people coming in. Look at this crowd. Oh, oh no. Oh no. My Jungasaurus. No, I missed it now. No! Oh, my baby god! Okay, it, it's down to the two ducks. I knew it. I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. It made third place. Bless it. It tried its best. You did good. You did good. You know what? I said I wanted to see Majungasaur. At least it made it to the finale. It, like, it, it actually got a trophy. It got third place. I'm quite happy. Okay, guys. These two ducks, I don't know whether they conspired together or God knows what, but they are not attacking each other. I've never seen them attack each other, and now that there's only the two of them left, they are still not attacking each other. They don't go for Dilophosaur because Dilophosaur is a different sort of class of dinosaur and they won't have an interaction with it. So I am left with no other option but to declare the winners of Battle of Battle Royale number six or five or God knows what, I think it's five, as two duckies and a Dilophosaurus, the three Ds. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, I think that's probably the safest thing to do, right? Just just make the offense around. That'll do. Where, where's the other guy? Five? Five? There he is. There's a Dilophosaurus. Brilliant. Okay, we good? There we have it. Our winners, Cage in tiny little invisible pens. And now let's airlift them to safety in their new enclosures. I feel a bit unfair about these other guys. They sort of just worked together and then managed to, to win it. But you know what? Who didn't say that you couldn't implement teamwork? The Raptors could work together if they just decided to. But no, the Duck Bros did it. And with that, our winners are being transported to their new sanctuary, awaiting our epic finale. Well, it won't be a battle royale, although there will be a part of battle royale. I don't kind of want to spoil what it's going to be. Let's just say the best fighter might not necessarily be the winner. I don't know. I'll keep my cards to my chest. You'll have to wait and see. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye